Okay, everything is set. Time to play Castlevania 2. I like this game. That was the very first game that I ever borrowed in my life. I mean, uh, we rent it uh, in the grocery at the grocery and uh, we have some fun. I was uh, nine years old back then. That's a long time already. More than 30 years ago. Still a great game for me. And of course, back then, we didn't have, uh, we didn't, we didn't even know English, so <laughs> we were stuck trying to learn English. And uh, and even in the towns, the the people, some of them were liars, so we didn't know what was true and what was not. So it was hard to just figure out everything. But the music, the atmosphere, and uh, the secrets, and uh, etc. Everything was just perfect for us. So we never forgot about this game. And here we are. So the first thing that I want to do is to make money here. We have uh, a few items that we want to get from the town. So, <clears throat> we are making money right now. And of course, it gives uh, experience points. So we've got 66 hearts and 8 XP, which is not a lot. <laughs> but at least in, in, at the night, uh, we get more... Maybe uh, those hearts give uh, maybe 3 XP and uh, 4 hearts means for for the money now I need a good place to find those vampires and make more money I think here it's pretty nice if they can appear from both sides that's better And of course, we cannot enter the doors in town when it's night. We need to wait for the morning to come, but uh, the time goes very quickly in this in this game, so we will be ready <laughs> to enter a door pretty soon, soon enough. And of course, getting experience points will get us to have uh, more HP and more endurance. Which is what we want. And of course, we can count on their generosity to buy everything that we need right now. We have 150. We need uh, something like 200 to buy everything here. There is the Torn Whip for 100 and uh, there is the holy water and the white crystal for 50 each if I'm right I'm not sure if we can make it because we need those items it's such a, a great idea to get them, so we are on it, of course. <clears throat> oh, and we've got to level up. 
just before the morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. Now I don't know how much money there, that we have. Oh, we almost made it. <clears throat> we, want, we want all of those items. Let's buy one here. I will go get the whip. Then we will fight a little. We want everything. Not of the whip. Okay, it's there. It's almost the same as the leader whip that we had just before, but it's longer, so easier to fight. <laughs> that was a good one. So that's an easy way to die. <laughs> yes, those things will happen and it happened. So I guess that we've got two hearts. Every monster will give every heart gives two hearts. So we need three more. Then we can come back in town and buy the last item, which is uh, not the least, I mean one of the good ones, the holy water. We need it to destroy some blocks. And then we will be able to go to the east. There we go. And now we can equip them. The holy water costs nothing to, uh, to use. So we can use it uh, as much as we want. It's, uh, but it's not strong, very strong. But it can be useful sometimes like this, in uh, good spots. So next, we want to go to one of the mansions to get Dracula's rib, which can be used as a shield. We need all five items from each mansion to get to the last uh, mansion, Dracula's mansion, just to destroy him, plus the cross. We should get them all. It's not a long game, but of course, when we were that young, with no English uh, as a, the, our first language, my brothers and I, it took us three years to finally find how to do it. No internet, uh, no help from nobody. We just were able to, <laughs> to figure it out. To figure it out. Uh, okay, I just try again and jump. Okay. So, at least we've got a good whip here. And uh, the monsters are easier because it's uh, daylight outside. That's something that is true. When we enter a mansion and it's night, the monsters will be tougher inside. Here, those blocks, we are invincible, so we have just to jump here, and sometimes we can just see the movement of the enemies, so we will see that some blocks they don't want to walk on, so <laughs> it helps. We have 64 hearts, and uh, it seems that the experience points are not going up anymore, so we need to get farther in order to do more XP points which is something that was that is pretty well done in my opinion because uh, we cannot just grind here just to get uh, more level ups we need to go where it's tougher but we can still make money 
So here we will invest in an oak stake, which is needed to destroy the crystal ball at the end of each mansion. But we need to buy one each time that we use one. Always for the same price. That's something good. Okay, that's solid. But uh, here, let's see. Yes, it's not solid. So that was a trap just before we can get to the crystal, which is there. So we take the oak stake and and now we've got the rib. And of course, I will show you at the beginning of the of this mansion that the white crystal was good for us to see the the block at the beginning here. So let's fall here. No jump or we will die like I did in town earlier. <laughs> and you can see the shield that I have so it can block the balls which is good. It helps. <clears throat> so now we can just exit this place. We did everything that was necessary. It's always about uh, getting the crystal destroying the crystal and getting the item inside in each mansion but of course yes the two mansions there are some bosses you see here the block is here but we don't see it it's the crystal that makes the difference I mean the white crystal here so it has to be equipped for us to be able to use it uh, the way it has to be used so it's the same for any item Maybe except the cross that will help us to open the passage to get to, to the final mansion. There is also the silk bag which allows us to bring more garlic and more laurels. But uh, we will not get this one in, in this run. I'm just uh, showing the main lines and uh, the rest is just bonus. It's not speed run, but it's still effective so here we are at night so I guess that we will fight here if we can unless okay there are there are some vampires so it will be nice do we get some XP yes I think so four and money so that's good it's a good uh, it's a good spot we will fight here a bit Maybe, maybe not those bats, though. Good. I want vampires and vampires. So that will be good for the XP and that will be good for the money. Because here we want to buy um, the chain whip, which is the next whip. Pretty quick between, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, buying the Thorn Whip and then the Chain Whip. But I just wanted to show what can be done, which is not that hard to do. I mean, uh, why not buy it if we are to struggle with the monsters, you know? So, yes. And we are making some money. That will be good. It's uh, it costs 150, and we will need more. And of course, uh, the maximum number of hearts, I mean money, that we can get is uh, 256. That's the maximum. When we get more, it just stops there. It goes. Uh, it can go over it for the, the experience points because uh, the maximum level is level 6 and it requires something like maybe 350 experience points I think it's always a plus 50 per level if it took me 100 for the first level it means that the next one will be would be 150 and uh, etc but I don't remember if it was 100 or 150 for the first level not sure.
I think the the chain whip is in this door. And uh, when we enter a door in town and there is nothing, I always try to use the holy water to find passages. You can find uh, people that will help or uh, there are clues as well that you can find, uh, I mean books. There are 13 of them in this game for those who want to uh, do it blind. That's a good thing just to know that they exist. They can help us to solve the, the whole puzzle. And there is a dagger here too that we can buy, uh, I think, in the first door for 50, I think. But now we just want the whip. The dagger is... it's pointless to get it. Here we can have a book, one of the clues. Clear a path at Berkeley Mansion with a white crystal, you know? That's how we, we can know what to do. Now the chain whip. It's very, very... It's much better, I mean, it's long and it's stronger. We still got uh, the Morning Star and the Flame Whip to get, but we cannot get the Flame Whip if we don't have the Morning Star first, because it's the Morning Star that will be changed into a Flame Whip, nothing else, and we have to talk to the right uh, character in the game. So for now we are clearing the, clearing the east side of the map. The eastern, eastern side if I can if I can see it like this. We're not doing everything. Here at the bottom we have the flame. I will I think I will get it. Not an obligation. But it's good to have at certain uh, spots, it's good to have it because uh, it can stun the monster if we overuse it on the monster. And of course it can uh, help us to fight from uh, when we are high, the, the monster is down and it is in uh, our path, our way. So we've got it. And it takes one heart per try. So. Be careful when you're using it. So the first thing that we've got to do next will be to go in the next town and get the blue crystal. And we need the white one to exchange for the blue one. We need to talk to the, the right guy. And the town, I think, is to the right here. But I think that the uh, knight will strike and we will have to fight more vampires before we can talk to the guy. I think we are late already. So what time is it? Oh, maybe we can, but it... Maybe it will be very close. Let's try and good luck. That will be nice. But I think that... Let's try. <laughs> why not? I, uh, anyway, that's why we are here. And we want to come here as well. I want to buy laurels. At least one time. They will be needed for crossing some march later so we will save energy so just once it's okay we will keep the hearts for the next things and I think that the, the next thing that we will buy will be an oak stake in the next mansion I mean the second one where we will find the Dracula's heart which is needed to find Dracula's eye <clears throat> So now, good luck. Night will strike at 6... Uh, 18. 18 o'clock. Now it's 15.46. So yes, we are okay. And I'm very happy about this. But man, let's talk. Yes. I'd like to exchange a white crystal for a blue one. 
now we got this because we also need the, the blue one the blue crystal to append the path to the second mansion we have to kneel for five full seconds in front of a lake and we don't have uh, if we just try to use the whip between those five seconds it cuts the sequence so we have to just wait and uh, here we can use garlic in this cemetery a man will appear and we will get uh, the silver knife I think that's better than the dagger but we don't need it because the gold knife uh, we will get it soon enough oh four hits three hits okay <laughs> It was a surprise, I was not expecting that one. So let's go for the mansion. What about our level up? We have 115 experience points and when we level up uh, the energy is re restored <coughs> which is nice So the lake is here, we just kneel for 5 full seconds and you will see what happens, now we can go. There is some lag, so I will take my time because before jumping. Here, do we have to break those blocks? No, okay, we just jump. It's a secret passage, <laughs> so yes, we go there. I'm not sure of my steps, really. Just take my time. So we get the oak stake there and the level up, level 2 now. So that's perfect, we've got everything that we need so let's go for the crystal and it's up there, I mean we need to Come here first and we will see where it is. <clears throat> it's, it's quiet on chat uh, today because I think that uh, <laughs> I decided to stream maybe a little uh, late so <laughs> but no problem. The main thing here I just want to explain what I'm doing so everybody who looks at the, the run can understand what is happening here. Here the jumps are a little tricky, so we need to be accurate. <clears throat> you know. Process <laughs> Dracula's heart. So we've got it. Then we equip the holy water once again. Now we just need to exit this place and then we will come back to the beginning um, and then go to the west. <clears throat> and the key when going to the west will be to give, uh, I mean, to show the heart, the Dracula's heart. 
to the ferryman and he will lead us to another island on a boat I mean another island uh, that will that is just for the, the third uh, mansion and also the diamond which is uh, at the dead end uh, near a, a huge cliff but we don't need a diamond I mean it's a uh, it's a weapon that is uh, we will have everything that we need because in the mansion we will get um, what uh, the, the golden knife which is uh, the strongest item that we can use that is not a, a whip <coughs> and it's just perfect so now the work is done here we just go back and of course we don't make any more XP so <laughs> the job is even more down here than oh what's that <laughs> I was I, I was thinking that everything everything was fine I don't know oh I'm not used to this uh... <laughs> better jump then or what okay <laughs> I was surprised uh, for forgive me guys <laughs> I didn't think that it will happen it was like um I was thinking that I was okay. <laughs> so good. So it's good. So let's continue. We go back to the west. And of course, when we go to the west, things are a little more difficult. I mean, uh, new monsters. That's why uh, when we start the game, uh, when we see the monsters and their power, we quickly understand that we have to go to the east instead. So uh, the game almost tells us where to go. <coughs> Pardon me. But uh, coming back to the beginning is very, very quick. Okay, that's good. So except for the, um, the next oak stakes that we will buy, the next item to buy is the Morning Star. It's, it costs um, 200 hearts. And of course, something that we must try not to forget is the red crystal in the next town to the west. I mean, the, the one after the third mansion. And uh, it could happen that I forget to get it. Let's hope that I will be aware enough <laughs> not to skip it. Or we just come back. Nothing huge, but still why not get it when it's the right time. <clears throat> so when we just leave the town we can see the difference with the monsters that we've met before 
and they can fire balls so it's like uh, when we try at, the, at first we don't have a shield so it's like oh we don't we cannot come here and here just jump everything is fine we, if we walk uh, more into the march of course we will get more and we will lose more HP so <laughs> better just take our time so yes here the fairy man is here just show him the heart when we talk before talking to him and he will tell you let me show you the way and we hear that song that's that means that we did the right thing and okay we get more XP here against those monsters the diamond is to the left but uh, no need to get it it's useless item when it comes to me <coughs> oh. so here what do we do we have to go up oh my god they hurt I didn't think that they were that strong against us could be an issue here <laughs> it's our last life and it's like we're not um, we will see no it's not here oh we decided to go down there I was not sure if he could They give experience points that could be a way to survive here depends what I find to be able to fight and get something good maybe we can fight here it's not a time loss because we will need to make money uh, later anyway so and here it will uh, at least allow us to allow us to survive I hope if I keep doing the same here uh, I don't expect to die or even get hit so let's go until we get a level up and we will have a not a lot of money oh my god we have already 199 that's a lot <clears throat> it's very quick here Of course, uh, I could have decided just to die and uh, start with two or more lives. So uh, we would not, uh, because when we get we are game over, we lose uh, all the experience points and hearts that we had. So when we are on the verge of buying something huge, better not die. I, I mean, uh, be game over. But now we will be okay. Such a fun game. Some people could say, "Oh, we have to farm for money. It's long. It's nothing, guys. It's nothing. It's when we find uh, the right places like here. It's very quick. It takes, uh, I don't know, five minutes or so. It's nothing. There are games in which uh, we have to, f to farm for hours, hours, and hours, and uh, we don't even feel that." Uh, it's the right spot where we have to farm it's like uh, why not wait later but I'm blocked sometimes that's uh, what happens to some players so but no I'm very used to farming I remember killing something like um, they gave 10 XP each in the willow game and I wanted to be full level at, uh, at the beginning so I thought how many kills uh, to get uh, oh my god 100,000 experience points it means that I killed 10,000 monsters that was crazy <laughs> of course we could take passwords here and there and take a break that's exactly what I did but it was still a long run 
but when we are crazy enough and we want something different or new or just to try an achievement, we work for it. Whether it's uh, about farming, speedrunning or just trying to complete a game. So things are going good, good right now. We, of course, we are making hearts for nothing, but <laughs> no choice. I want my level up and uh, I don't want to die because I don't know what's up there and uh, a few mistakes and we are gone. And uh, we will be level three. Maybe that will be the last level that we will reach until the end of this run. I don't know, but it could really be the case. <coughs> Here is a good place to level up, uh, or I mean make money, and um, of course uh, if we can't call it a beach, uh, when I just uh, got, out, got out from the boat, uh, the two monsters that were there were perfect for farming, and we have the same thing uh, just before the, the next town, so that can be used for great purpose, quick and easy. Especially with this whip. So yes, now we are saved. And I'm very happy about that because we were not that... Uh, we were weak. We were, we were not that uh, feeling that strong. <laughs> so good. <clears throat> no. And they don't give more XP. So we will take advantage here just to go farther and quicker yes because here the, there was nothing that uh, could be uh, safe anymore I mean uh, we were already tired a bit so that's one of the good spots to use the flame here because uh, if we get hit we can fall into the spikes and uh, just die so <laughs> That was a good uh, idea to use it there. The oak stake here. <clears throat> and I will try to buy one more from him. Right. After using this one. Because the fourth one is uh, takes uh, so some time in the next mansion. So I just want to buy one more here. And we will be able to go directly to the crystal in the next mansion. Of course, if I do the, the things right, because I might, uh, I might even decide to to take the the wrong uh, the wrong path. I don't. I'm not that practiced, you know. Just doing things here uh, with the knowledge that I have and um, probably also uh, some memory. So yes, we can do it here. Some people are able to kill him. But, uh, with a perfect uh, hit of holy water at a certain spot, but um, that's uh, that's advanced, I guess. I never knew that. <laughs> so the flame here, or even a garlic, if you have uh, an hour or two be in front of you, <laughs> because garlic will just kill it, uh, but very slowly, but um, safely. So here, of course, we destroy it. So yes, we've got the golden knife, and now you, we get Dracula's eyeball. The eye can be used when it's selected to see the the books that are hidden hidden in the blocks. So let's just go. Don't fight. He is always there. He will always give another knife, and the knife is great. I think it costs uh, two hearts to use the knife, but it's the strongest. Uh, it's as strong as our our weapon, I think. So and uh, it does, uh, it attacks three times. So it stuns the enemy uh, for the three attacks to be completed. So it's perfect to kill Dracula. You, Dracula won't even be able to move if we just use it against him. And of course, in towns, 
the doors where we can see across there are a Prius there are Prius inside uh, where we can just restore our life that's how we can restore our life and of course when we are game over we can get passwords to continue later the game later so now that's good we've got another oak, oak steak which was the plan here so we are set for the next mansion and yes everything here we found it pretty quickly when I was younger we were even able to uh, to, to find uh, the, the secret path where the lake was but uh, we took uh, more years just to find where to go next on the, the Boras cliff I don't know why we didn't think about doing the same thing that we did uh, uh, near the lake but uh, we were young so uh, I guess that's the excuse <laughs> but uh, still great memories so no problem <laughs> it was a lot of game gameplay and uh, looking for and trying to do everything that we could uh, even uh, senseless stuff uh, it helped us for the rest of our, of our gaming career I mean when there is something that uh, when we are like uh, going we are going to get blocked or something we I think that we have the, the imagination now <laughs> So yes, the, those guys here, I just want to show, that's that was the way to uh, fight them and uh, get a lot of XP out of them. And of, of course money. So let's go. Now we don't have to talk to him again, we just go back to where we were and we just stay on the boat. There will be no no special song, uh, song sound or song anyway. So it means that we get to the next town. I think it's right here. The only problem is that we are to the give XP. The only problem is that we are at night and we need to be in to, in the daylight. They give XP, so let's fight. We have to be, um, of course, in the day to, uh, to be able to talk to the guy that, that who will give us the red crystal for the blue one. That's the last exchange here. So I guess that we will just fight. If we can get another level up, why not? So it's safe here, we can just stay at the bottom and hit until they die. So there is absolutely no risk of getting hit if there is something. So here would be a good place to just get to level 4. Level 5 and 6 uh, take more, much more XP of course and uh, trickier places. I can remember when we were young we would not be able to get to um, the mansions number four and three oops what's that it jumped alone I didn't even push the button I think that my controller has a, has a problem but yes we were able to get to level six but we had to fight uh, monsters uh, I mean in the eastern side of this place I mean uh, where we got the blue crystal um, in the cemetery there we could fight uh, hands I mean hands uh, that were just um, out of the ground and they gave uh, one or two XP each <laughs> but yes uh, with patience and time we were able to get to level 6 uh, with those, mon those monsters and it could be done yes we don't have to cross with the red crystal past uh, the Deborah's cliff to get to level 5 and 6 we can do this from this side it could be done but uh, time consuming and uh, probably yes probably a little um, <laughs> boring but we wanted to be as strong as we could maybe it would open some passage if we were strong enough and uh, we had uh, we tried everything like I said so uh, it was normal that we got to uh, 99 days which is the the maximum here and of course level 6 
the only thing that we, we, we didn't find, uh, we, we, fo we found everything that we could find from this side of the Deborah's Cliff. Cemeteries, we try uh, everything. <laughs> we tried to break every block in the game, so it was uh, <laughs> great memories, of course. And I always repeat, but it's so true. Um, what time is it? Almost morning. I will try to see. I hope that there is <clears throat> a priest here or something. That would be nice. But I will. We'll just wait here. If there is a priest, I think that we can at least restore our life. So here we get the red crystal. I will not try to jump there, I will just try to go to the left and see if we can go up and find something. Maybe there is one here. Let's hope. <clears throat> if not, it will be in the next town. Because we have all the money that we want to buy the Morning Star. Is there something here? Maybe not. Maybe oh, maybe on the top. Yes, there is. There was one. So for the least, you will see what happens. <coughs> So now back to work. 100 to XP, which is great. Maybe we can get to level 4 finally. Maybe, depends uh, if I die. Everything is possible. <laughs> we will just see. I just want to stay alive. Uh, before getting the morning star or it will hurt we will have to make so much money and lose so much time not that it's that's crazy but uh, why not uh, just stay alive <laughs> My wish here is just to get the morning star before the night comes. I think we can. I think it's in the middle of the town in a special door. Yes, yes, it's here. I recognize the place and there is not even a secret. We just have to go down there. Oh, maybe there is uh, some book there. Maybe not. I think nothing but the morning star is here so let's spend some hearts and now it's even longer than the train the chain the chain one chain whip so we are ready for the big guys that's for sure very happy so now I think that the, uh, we only need uh, 50 hearts until the end of the game, if I'm right, just to buy the last uh, oak stake. So um, if we die, we die. <laughs> Here it's about jumping when it's, it's to the top. And when we start, we never stop going in the, the, the right direction. And uh, Oops, wrong move. We, there is a... What does it say already? May solve the evil mystery. Yes, Dracula's nail. That's the next item. Can be used to destroy the blocks, but when equipped, uh, we can destroy blocks with the whip. So here, on those two blocks, it's about just kneeling with a red crystal equipped and uh, 
Don't use the whip. Five good seconds. And we are here. And of course we can go to the right. It's something else. And uh, if we go to the west over and over, we will get to the east where we were at first. So uh, everything goes from left to right to right uh, from this point if we go to the left. But first, we want to enter this one here. That's where we, we will find the next item, Dracula's Nail. Um, there is some passage here. Yes, okay. Thinks it's I think it's where we want to go. Don't fall, don't fall. It's laggy. It's like it's risky. I don't know when to jump. <laughs> That's very weird. Yes, I think that probably the the guy who sells the oak steak is up there, but we don't have to go there. It's it's like we save a lot of time. Just by buying the oak stake in the previous mansion. Now we just have to go and use it here. That's nice. We are already on the verge of getting the next one here. So, Dracula's nail. Oh, okay. Directly on the mo on the monster. <laughs> the squelet skeleton. So that was something that was quick here. Didn't remember that it was that quick. So let's take it. Let's enjoy it. Um, of course, we can come back. Probably in co coming here, which would be great. Yes, I think it's great. Finally, uh, my God, is it dangerous or not? Okay, I took a chance because. <laughs> I was not sure anymore. <laughs> but luck was with us tonight. At least up until now. In a sense, of course. So the first thing here, yes, we go to the west. For the last, I mean the fifth mansion. And there is another lake here. John Jump here, I think. Yes. That could be deadly <laughs> and it happened to me more than once I just jumped from screen to screen and here oh in the water so let's go okay here this place that's where we will get the flame whip Just talk to this guy if we have the morning star and he gives us the best whip flame whip oh my god the lag that's incredible so that's good now we've got the whip Already much stronger, guys. We are much stronger. Not sure of my step anymore here. So I just took my time a little more. And yes, there are the marks. Let's just jump here, but we will use the laurel for the next ones. 
The next boss, I mean. I don't know if we have to use two of them here. I think so. Yes. We will have to come back here. But at least we will have more Lores because we can get some here for free in this mansion. And of course there is a bus for the cross. And the Dracula's ring. I didn't... I never found a use for the ring yet. Maybe internet can tell us, but uh, personally I just prefer to find everything for by myself, so... Uh, okay, not here. Uh, no, okay. So if we don't get hit too much here, we can maybe survive up until the end, maybe. Depends on, on the holes and the... But this this game is not that difficult. Uh, it's not that the monsters are, are placed to, uh, to give that much problem. Of course, they can be annoying here and there, but it's not that bad, really. The, the game is very well done. I mean, it's a quiet game, never feel that much pressure. Um, down or up, I'm not sure. I will try to go up. Yes, I think it's the right path here. Or at least to go get the, um, the oak stake, probably. Yes, that's exactly what we wanted. But now I think that we have to go back and just go down next. Uh, if we jump or just fall, is it okay? And here. Okay, yes, that's where we get the laurels. I think that we ha can have four. That's right, four, and I will just use one of them just in case. Oh, hello, Hone! How are you? Welcome to the the late uh, stream. <laughs> Playing one of my favorite games, games, game of my childhood, right here. Oh, I will use the golden knife. It hurts. <laughs> yes, and you are welcome, Hone. You're the first person to come today, just because probably I, I'm uh, streaming late. A very strong weapon. The, the, the monster can do nothing. Oh, you know about this game? Oh my god, what a terrible night to have a curse. Oh, honey, if you can uh, stay until the end, we are almost done. Almost done. We are in the fifth uh, mansion, right, right here. Get the Dracula's ring. Uh, in fact, we've got uh, with this one all the items that are needed to finish the game. We died twice, so we are on our last life, but we don't have nothing to buy until the end. So everything is perfect. Did you ever finish this game, Hone? You ever finish it? That was the very first game that I ever rent in my life and at the grocery. I, I, I was able to buy a Nintendo but I didn't have any game so we have to uh, get some games from the grocery and this, this, this one. It's uh, legendary memories, really. What an horrible night, uh, horrible night to have a curse. <laughs> but uh, what you said is so true. I mean, uh, that, that's really good. This game, um, I guess... Um, <laughs> um, what is the word? It gave you an impression for, for the very least. <laughs> yes, we are already uh, very near the end right now. Under 15 minutes, probably. Just need to go back. 
to the east and to the east and to the east until we get to the last town and then to Dracula's mansion and there is no enemy in Dracula's mansion it's totally dead of course Dracula's is there We have 208 experience points. Maybe we can get our level up, but uh, it will be close if we do it. So let's use some Laurel here. No need to get hurt by the march. Okay. Don't know if we can use it a little for this part of the, the march here. I want to try to get to have the Laurels for Dracula, so it will be even quicker to kill him and funnier we will be able to do more things against him <laughs> I mean quickly before he dies because it's not that uh, it's it's just too easy as a boss not because uh, people are, are bragging about that it's just true Dracula is not hard at all but uh, here maybe I'm doing the wet I'm doing a mistake, I'm getting hit and hit and hit, but it's no big deal because even if I die, it's like uh, we, we are still very strong, it's like uh, we will be even better if we die, so <laughs> I will try to survive uh, up until the next um, town, we will see, uh, okay, I need uh, holy water here. But the good thing is that uh, when we die, uh, when we are game over in this game, we start at the same spot that where we died, so it's very fun. So I don't, I cannot understand why some people will say that this game was tough. Of course, the secrets, they, they could be a problem, but uh, the difficulty of the game, no, no, not uh, every speedrunner will tell you that this game is very easy. <laughs> No choice, because uh, I'm not sure if there is even RNG in this game. It's like the monsters appear exactly where they need to appear. Of course, here when you you want uh, more um, money from the monsters, yes, there is the RNG. I mean, chances that uh, you drop something or not, but not that bad. Do we have the time? Yes, we will survive. Thank you, madame. We needed a rest. So now we feel strong. So if we don't fall into water, I think that we are all right. Nice, no mistake. And I'm still able to do some. <laughs> so here, uh, okay, no, no, that, that's not the, the where I was thinking. I, 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 I was thinking that we were already at, at uh, Dracula's mansion. But soon we will be there. Yes, there is a, a final town before. Down here. And to the right here, there's, there is a dead end where we can find, um, there is a secret stair, I mean uh, invisible stair, just to come back when we reach the dead end. But now we are almost there. I think that uh, Dracula is our next enemy right now. Oh no, no, not yet. Longer than anticipated, but nothing big, nothing big, really. Just those guys here. Just don't let them attack. They go down and then... Oh, okay. He was able to reach me. Good job. And of course, here, I think that we've got... Yes, we've we got some experience points from those guys. I guess that it's normal, because it's the far test cemetery. And here, those blocks will never des be destroyed if we don't have the cross. 
I mean with the holy water we cannot destroy them so we are like blocked until we get the cross and probably also the five uh, Dracula's items I mean one two three four five and of course the red crystal is needed as well unless we do advanced stuff but uh, I want to keep it legit and just normal so <laughs> that's what we are doing right now so welcome to Dracula's mansion I like it just quiet nice music normally uh, in other games uh, there will be lots of monsters and uh, struggle and everything but I like the fact that there is no monster here the game was about what it is it was not about uh, just having monsters and that's something that I, I liked So we are there. What will we use to fight Dracula? Of course the shield because it looks too good to have it. Maybe the golden knife a few hits and then we will use the whip to finish the job with the laurels. It will be quick. We could do this and just wait. Don't even see the, the boss so it's like <laughs> Let's use it. <laughs> That's what it looks like. So yes, it's very easy. But uh, still a great game when it comes to me. Great music. Great atmosphere. Um, just fun. Just fun. But not a real challenge. I mean, uh, except, of course, for the secrets, but if we can read uh, what is in the, um, the books, the 13 books, I mean, the clues to uh, solve the riddle of Dracula, uh, we can do it. Yes. So I hope that uh, everybody who will see this video will be please uh, with uh, the word that I did I, I, I mean uh, I explained uh, approximately everything that I did tried my best to be clear and uh, working my uh, my speaking I, I mean uh, I speak English uh, I, I never speak English in real life because here in uh, Quebec Canada we always speak French but um, I know the words I read and uh, write English almost every day unboxing uh, forums <laughs> but that's another story but uh, I think that my speech is getting better and better my tongue is more able to uh, twist the words correctly and here I like this ending Dracula is back <laughs> oh my god uh, sorry Rem uh, that was the last uh, minute or so of the stream ah oh, dang we we missed each other <laughs> but thanks for being there that's uh I, I still appreciate you know um that was a quiet stream uh when it comes to um <laughs> to, to to the viewers i mean uh, people in the chat but uh, i explained everything and i had a very very nice time and um really i'm pleased with this run i will share it on youtube this will be there and uh, the next game will be number eight uh, up uh, i mean eight of from the 40 best games that i think that exist for nintendo i wanted to watch you play this too oh my goodness but uh, ram maybe uh, you see it just took me uh, 70 minutes or so uh, if you want me to play it just for you it's not a problem i can stream anytime uh, maybe even tomorrow it's uh, it will be a great pleasure uh, I just wanted to have a run for YouTube and uh, this one was just perfect everything uh, 
was fine. Uh, I died uh, twice and stupidly, but <laughs> we have to laugh sometimes uh, at our own uh, mistakes. But yes, Rem, I can do it for you and it will be a pleasure if you want. No, no problem uh, at any time. We, I, but um, if we do, I, I will uh, just tell you before. Yes, move on on the next game, man. I try to catch you. Yes, but I can stream uh, twice uh, in the same day. I want to stream um, a serious run like this one here uh, at least once a day um, or so. But uh, if I can stream a second time, it will be uh, a game that I d already did like this one. So uh, uh, no problem. It will be a pleasure. So <laughs> uh, sorry, we, we missed each other uh, quickly, but <laughs> it's just... Uh, yeah, we will catch. Uh, <laughs> we will get back to where we were. So um, thanks for passing by and uh, thanks uh, guys for watching. So uh, thanks Hone and thanks Rem for being there. See you next time. Take care and good night. Thanks for watching.